Potato croquets for the uninitiated are flavored potato cutlets which are bread crumbed and deep fried. For this, I'm taking some boiled potatoes and I'm going to grate these now. The potatoes are grated and ready. The next thing that goes in is some breadcrumbs. These are fresh breadcrumbs. I'm adding these so that the residual moisture in the potatoes gets nicely absorbed. The next thing that goes in is some refined flour for binding. Along with this, some salt, chili flakes, black pepper powder. And with this, one of my favorite ingredients, nutmeg. I love using nutmeg in this recipe because it's a classic combination with potatoes. The sweetness and the undertones of nutmeg go amazingly well with potatoes. The next that goes in is some fresh basil leaves. I'm just going to shred these roughly. This goes straight in. And finally, some fresh American corn. Now this could be an optional ingredient. Well, if you want, you can add in some peas or some grated carrots or any vegetable of your choice. I'm going to massage this nicely till it forms a nice homogeneous ball of dough. The croquet mixture is now ready. Let's transform these into cylinders. For that, I'm going to just wet my palm a little with some water. Take a little bit of this mixture and now here is a surprise element. I'm studying this with strips of processed cheese. Well, you can also use mozzarella. Encase this nicely and evenly. I'm just going to dredge the surface with a little bit of flour and place this right here. Once these are rolled and ready, I'm just going to dredge this with a little bit of flour. Just to make sure the breadcrumbs stick well to the croquet, I'm creating a slurry of refined flour and water. Give it a nice mix. Now that the slurry is ready, I'm taking some fresh breadcrumbs on a plate. The croquet gets dipped lightly in this. I'm just going to apply this evenly. And this now gets rolled in the breadcrumbs. Make sure it's nicely and evenly coated. Just press it lightly. Now similarly, I'm going to start applying the slurry and the crumbs on the other croquets as well. The potato croquets are crumbed and ready. This goes in the deep freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. Well, for your home parties, you can make this a day before and enjoy time with your family and fry this when your guests are there in the house. So this goes in the freezer for now. The potato croquet is now out of the freezer. It's time now to begin frying. For that, I've heated the oil on moderate flame. That's ready. Straight in goes the croquet.
Once these are nice and fried and evenly colored, I'm going to drain this on an absorbent kitchen paper. And similarly, I'll start frying the other batches. The potato croquets are fried and ready. Let's plate this now.